You want to buy a new car. You can afford payments of $425 per month and can borrow the money at an interest rate of 4.9% compounded monthly for five years. How much are you able to borrow? And how much interest do you pay? How do we start this problem? Well, we recognize that we're trying to buy a new car and we're gonna try and finance it with a loan. So we need our loan formula, or if you like, our payout annuity formula. That is, P sub zero, or the amount of the loan, is equal to our monthly payments times the quantity of one minus quantity one plus R divided by K raised to the minus NK all divided by R over K. Now, what are all these pieces in that formula? Well, D is our monthly payment. For the problem, we're given that our monthly payment is 425. R, R is our interest rate. Again, we're given that interest rate. It's 4.9% or 0 0.049. K is the number of times we pay per year. Since we're paying monthly, K is 12, 12 months in a year. And N ends the number of years for our loan. We're looking at a five-year loan. One other thing I like to gather is NK, because that's our exponent. N times K is actually 12 times 5, or 5 times 12, and that's going to be 60. What about P0, P sub 0, our loan amount? Well, that's actually what we're trying to figure out. How much do we want to borrow? So let's put all of these bits, all of these numbers, into our formula and get an expression. I see that P0, or the amount that we're going to be able to borrow, is equal to 425 times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.049 divided by 12 raised to the negative 60 all divided by 0 0.049 all over 12. I took our payout annuity formula, or if you like our loan formula, and I substituted in the values that we pulled off of our problem. I'm now going to go to a scientific calculator. I use the free one online, Desmos, so www.desmos.com, and I will use that to evaluate this scientific expression. Desmos gives me the following, that the amount we're allowed to borrow, or that we're able to borrow, is calculated out to be 22575 and 82 cents right here. That's the amount that I put in my first box. 22,575 dollars and 82 cents. It's a pretty good amount for a new car. Now let's take a look at the second question which is how much interest do we pay? Remember, when you borrow money, the bank or the loan company is going to charge you interest. So how much interest are you going to pay? Well, let's calculate that. To determine the amount of interest, we have to first figure out how much payment we make and then subtract from it the amount of the loan. So how much payments total are going to be made? 
to get that, we have to take our monthly payment, which is $425. We have to multiply that times 12, and that tells us how much per year we're paying. And then we need to multiply that times five years, the length of the loan. That tells me that the total amount of payments that are made towards the loan are as follows. It's the product of 425 times 12 times 5, which is $25,500. To get the interest, we now have to subtract the loan amount from the payment amount. So this is our payments. That's how much we paid over the course of the loan. The loan amount initially was $22,575.82. If we take the difference or subtract those two, that's going to give us the interest. Payments minus loan is interest. That amount is $2,924.18. This is the amount of interest charged on this loan. And that goes in the second box. $2,924.18. And that completes our problem.